So what is the molar mass of cobalt 2 hydrogen carbonate? Well, I'm going to create a little table to help us figure that out. Bam. So the first thing I see is I have to write down the particular elements I see in the compound. So we have cobalt, we have hydrogen, we have carbon, and we have oxygen. Next is to then write down the number of atoms of each element, and that's where the subscripts come into play. So for cobalt, there's an invisible one there at the bottom, so that means that there's one cobalt atom. Uh, for hydrogen now, there is also an invisible one down there, meaning that there's one hydrogen, but this hydrogen is tied up inside of this polyatomic anion hydrogen carbonate, and we have two hydrogen carbonates. Therefore, we'll have two hydrogens in total. You can simply take that subscript and then multiply it by the outer subscript. All right, so that'll simply be two hydrogens. Same thing for carbon. Carbon has a subscript there of one, but then we have to multiply it by that outside subscript, so there's two carbons. And same thing for oxygen, three times two for a total of six oxygens. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take those number of atoms down. We're going to multiply it by the mass of each particular element. Now, these masses are found on the periodic table, so let's take a look. So cobalt here is 58.93, hydrogen is 1.01, .01, carbon is 12.01, .01, and oxygen is 16. These masses can represent gram per mole or AMU, depending upon if you're finding molar mass or molecular mass. All right, so let's write them down. So 58.93 for cobalt, hydrogen was 1.01, .01, carbon is 12.01, .01, and then oxygen was 16. Then all you have to do now to find the total mass of each element in the compound is simply multiply the row on a cross. This is the mass of one cobalt, and since I only have one cobalt, I just take one and multiply it by the mass, right, which would give us 58.93. Then for hydrogen now, each hydrogen is 1.01 uh, .01 units of mass, but we have two of them, so the total mass there is 2.02. .02. Right, for carbon then we do that multiplication, so that'll be 24.02. .02. And then same thing for oxygen, right, that'll work out to be about 96. And then now to find the total mass of the entire compound, guess all what we have to do? Just add this column together to find the total mass, all right? So when we add that column together, we get a total of about 180, let me make that a little neater, 180.97. And the units here will be in terms of grams per mole since we're finding molar mass. So now you know how to find the molar mass of cobalt to hydrogen carbonate. Thanks for tuning in, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.